Good morning, welcome to Rock Painting Workshops. Today we are going to paint this really well-known little gnome. He's been one of our original ones on our Facebook page and uh, we've, I've turned him into the Easter Bunny gnome today. So if you want to learn how we drew him and different uh, steps in photos, pop over to our Facebook group because I've got every step that you need to create him over there in a tutorial I taught probably a year ago now. Um, but he's always popular, he always gets dressed up for every season and today he's all dressed up ready and he's waiting for Easter to come. Okay, so I've just colouring in his first, first colours and I'm using the Posca uh, light pink here. I'm actually not really happy with the coverage, like the colour that it is. I just wanted a little bit brighter than that without going into a darker pink. So I've let it dry. It's, you know, once you've done one thin coat, it doesn't take very long to dry. So that wasn't even a minute. I haven't changed any um, cut, edited any bits out. So you can see how long it was for me to um, go over the top. But I've got the Posca Glitter Pink. And it's a light pink colour, but it's it's just a little bit deeper. And of course, it's got the bonus of the glittery part to the pen in it as well. So I'm just going over the light pink areas will be in Posca light pink glitter. Okay, And the white of his beard and moustache, that was already done uh, because a couple of days ago, I had about half a dozen rocks all drawn and ready to go and I was painting one in white and I just threw too much paint into the paint palette and you like that I threw it in okay I gently placed the paint <laughs> in the paint palette but I had too much uh, left over so what I did was I just added the white onto the rocks that needed it so this has already got two coats of acrylic paint in Americana so that's his beard already done and what I'm doing now is I'm starting the hat, which for everyone watching that knows my hat blended gnome, he has got a blue and a yellow hat, which we blend in the middle to get the third color of green. And this is how I do it step by step. And first I start off with half of the hat and I color it in blue. I'm not looking to do any blending, uh, any no other techniques. I'm just going to color in the first half of the hat blue. If you don't like the coverage of one uh, one layer, you can let that dry for a second and then pop on a second layer of color. But you can see now I'm just adding in the second color on his hat, which is the yellow. And I'm still not doing any blending. I'm just co coloring in half a hat blue, half a hat yellow. And I'm just gonna leave that to dry. So I will color in his nose with a beige just give that a nice thin layer okay so he's got one one layer all over basically and here is the where I'm going to start shading doing some some blending in here I've got a damp paintbrush and I've just popped it in water, wiped off any excess water onto the microfiber cloth and I'm picking up touches of paint from my paint pen just to get the shading, pop some shading on my rock. And you can see even though this one here, I'm not even being really fussy. See how I just sort of smushed that into place just to give it the, a look of depth. And I'm going to use the, the new grey colour to do that with his beard and moustache as well. But you can see the hat is still not blended. It's just drying and that's the blue and the yellow. This, I did come back in and do the second layer. So everywhere that you see on the gnome now is two layers of paint. And now I'm just going in with some shaded coloring in as well. You can dot the paint pen straight on like that. Take your damp brush and just sort of smush it around. That's another way of getting some shading that you want. It's just where shadows are going to throw onto the gnome. 
Now let's get on to this hat. So now I'm only going to work on the join area, okay? And I'm just scribbling it in to have some wet yellow paint and I've got some wet blue paint. Let's see if that's enough and start the blending process where I'll overlap the two and let them blend into each other and they'll start becoming green. If it's not quite wet enough, you just keep touching it back up with yellow and the blue pen. But see, I'm only doing the join area. And I'm just smushing that across. Need a bit more blue. You just gotta get your balance right. Once you've got the balance of the two wet colors, they'll just start blending into each other and becoming green. Okay, just right on the outer, if you go too far across, you can just add some more blue. Sort of the blending went too far across for me, so I'm just backfilling in some of the blue. So what you've got to, what you're, want to do is always remember that two wet colors will always bleed together and that's what we need is those two wet colors so that the blending of the colors happen that bleeding across each other will start making the mix just like wet paint in a palette you'd take wet blue paint you take some wet yellow paint you would mix them together and they'll create the green in your palette we're just doing it straight on the rock and blending the blue and the yellow together until we get that green that we like. Okay, let's put more yellow in there. And you're just gonna keep playing with the blending process until you get the color in the middle that you like. Okay. Remembering any bits you don't like, put some color back on. If you do like it, leave it alone. Okay, now I'm just gonna start decorating his hat. I've got the middle section just the way I like it. So I've got the blue and the yellow that have blended in the middle to create that touch of green. And now I'm just going to keep adding the decorations onto the top. Got to shade on his nose so with the skin color I do a beige and when it's dry I just take my brown and just do a bit of blending and that's just creating shadow his hat would throw a bit of shadow down on top of the nose so that just creates that shadows let's have a look at him okay so I'm not going to add too much decoration onto his hat you can add as much as you, you like and you'll see that it's slightly different in the original gnome that we've got in the Facebook tutorial so you can just decide where you want to go with that. But I'm just going to use my black Posca pen and we're going to start doing the outlines. Okay, we've got, I don't know how many gnomes we've got now. If you do like to do gnomes, we've got quite a few different characters in the gnome series. And it's in guides on our Facebook page. It's in guide nine that we've got all sorts of different ones you might like to try. And I've got this guy's got a brother that's going to appear. Yeah, probably tomorrow I'll finish him off. I've drawn him on the rock. I just haven't colored him in yet. Okay. I just like to add little bits of black in the shadow areas just to define a bit more of the shadows. It's really funny that I, I'm painting the gnome like the original guy is really popular, but what everyone doesn't realize is I really do not like gnomes. So now I've said that on YouTube, everybody knows uh, that I don't like gnomes. My mum's got some in the garden and we, we live together. So I like to move her gnome around and put him in trees and looking through her bedroom window. But that's just a teaser. And I think I just it's just a payback really because what she did, she put the gnome looking in through my lounge room window and she has him in the garden outside so he just stares in at me so now it's like attack of the gnomes okay come up and around the edge here yep 
Yeah, I didn't even realise like what a popular little character he'd be. I sort of painted the first gnome because I just, um, I painted the first gnome on the day that she put the gnome outside my lounge room window. And he's been just going solid on rocks ever since, becoming a bit of an icon. Okay, little bunny slippers. You can see I'm just sort of jagging the pen back and forth to give that little sort of like a fluff look to the slippers so I'm not doing like perfectly even lines it kind of looks like a little pig doesn't it oh well I had whiskers we'll make him into a bunny more bunny looking than a pig <laughs> okay and then I just draw lots of little circles and doing random shapes now on his hat you might like to try hearts or little Easter eggs Whatever you decide. My go-to is circles. It's purely decorative, so you can go with whatever resonates with you. Here, we'll put some little hearts on as well, because we love Easter. Okay. Little, little triangle join bits. I just add that little bit of black extra black in there just drawing some of the hair in on his beard and moustache if you do bits you don't like don't worry let it dry you can come and get your white pen go back over it and just to finish him off I'll take my white pen and just add some highlights onto the gnome and that's just where the light will come down and ref reflect and he's all done. So if you want to come and show us on Facebook your finished gnomes, little Easter bunny gnomes, we'd love to see him. And look forward to your comments and seeing your end results. There. All done. All ready for Easter. So come and visit us at Facebook and that's at Reef Rocks Free Workshops. I'll see you there.